Doom 101 enters the frame. Um, yo, one. Um, yo, yo. And yeah, we can coin flip into Azura and we can go like a fun him and away we go. Into the first game we run. <laughs> uh, so we have Derek versus Shock Bay. Did we? Um, I'm pretty sure that um, uh, from Little is just like way more likely than other factions to be rolled here. I mean, I'm pretty sure. Isn't it like kind of obvious by this point? That again. Nah, maybe not. I can see what do you think. Is there like a possibility that it's more common, like Comfy was, for some reason? I'm pretty sure there's no actual reason, but um, it feels like it. Not emotion. Anyway, this is gonna be like not a game. Uh, one on one. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. We have Pokemon versus. Wait, actually, I think this is not even losing. That's pretty surprising. My immediate reaction that I have lo a losing matchup because I'm playing like Rampy versus Castle, but I mean I'm playing Fortram. It's not bad. And then uh, I'm Rampy, so there's gonna be like a million boxes. Uh, we have Comfy side. Middle is Dungeon. Then we have a neutral side too. And this is my biome. Mhm. Mm Epic Sun. Okay, actually one on one's this. Interesting. Very interesting. Where's the wheel thing? Just scroll down a little bit. A Raxa versus Gretchen. Well, wow. is this a favorable matchup? I'm not even sure. Uh, defense skill. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna be collecting everything over here. I want like all the resources. So then again, this is all like optional what I'm collecting now, which is kind of interesting. Overlane. Oh yeah. My heroes are so bad in Q. Um, no, you're just bad in to not roll a helmet. That's all. And then my heroes are completely fine with Q. Hey, Zimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimim
Uh, I could be going for the comp to just pick up the schools of magic. And play with some tempo, I guess. Oh no. I can hit with only one of my stacks. Oh, that's kind of sad. Oh, uh, which deals more damage? I think it's actually the gobbles. Yeah, that's kind of sad. Um, it's probably not even that big of a difference, but... You know, it could have been better. It should have been better. But here we are. It's a town... I don't know if I can differentiate between the town in the corner and the town over here. Like, uh... Don't know if this is Rampy. Actually, it kind of looks like Rampy. Yeah, this looks like Rampy. So the other uh, stronghold is going to be like all the way over there. Already have like expert offense. I'm dealing a pretty good amount of damage. I have 2.5k gold income. That's also kind of nice. Mm hmm. I will build the burb. Am I just heading out here? Like this? I think I'm DDing forward. Oh, watering place, okay. Uh, so I'm doing treachery and then sitting in the watering place, and that's my turn, I guess. I'm pretty happy with that turn, actually. Not bad. Oh no. Can't attack with that. Ah, oh, the moral killed a bird. I think I should hit here. Oh, um, minus one bird already. Well, it's not unfortunate, but definitely worth it. Then, yeah, I can do a treasury too because I need the gold to buy out all of the uh, birds here. Naturally. Wait, I accidentally waited when I shouldn't now. Such. Um, but okay. It's fine. Um, Arc Magician is good, of course. And yeah, then I set in the watering place, and I'm gonna be having quite a few moves for the next turn. Um, currently still not at a lot of knowledge at all, though. Okay, so I'm double building that. That is very nice. And now we just continue on the rest of the side. Yeah, where we find a stronghold. Eventually. And this is gonna be like the rest of my mana gone. Yeah. I think Hell will freeze over before Lakeshaw says hello to me. Well, that's optimistic. Hey, Sturgeon. Maybe I can get something more. Like, I mean, I'm building out the. Yeah, yeah, I'm just building out the rocks over there, so I'm not really getting much else done for now. So I'm just going to be exploring a little bit. Um, unfortunately only one dwelling though total. Um, it's all pretty fine. I'm triple building the bird. Uh, so I'm 43. Um, so it's still at free knowledge, just like I am for now. I understand I'm definitely building out into the magical over here that I'm going to be able to um, go back, pick up some other things. Wait, he's just sitting there? I guess he's just sitting there. Well, no, he's not. Uh, I'm sure you're doing something. I mean, I will be returning into the town this turn for sure. It's just a matter of like, what can I can collect before. Mm-hmm. Then Mage Guild, then then make fast. Then I will buy out all the birds that I can and uh yeah. 
Uh, that will be decent. The only regret is the fact that I do not have Advanced Earth just to be able to be back. But maybe we'll go for that Nomad boss over there for now. Hmm. I also love uh, some, you know, some other mana objective too. My library is over here, pretty far. You stroke your cat at the same speed as you walk your mouse. Walk your mouse? I'm not sure, maybe. No? No, I don't. <laughs> she is currently sleeping on my lap, by the way. I think I want to go back to the other towns right now, but I do it by going here. <laughs> you know, I pick up the box for army, and then I, at the same time, I get the experience to get advanced earth to be able to be back. And um, yeah, that turns out to be pretty nice, I think. Mm -hmm. Already 12 birds and quite a few more to buy. Oh, uh, pretty good Moralka. Bruh. Uh, pretty decent. Knowledge, by the way. But not the right level up, though. Oh, wow. Um, wow. That is not easy. But okay, I'll take the ammunition. Fine. Fine. You have convinced me to not take that. Advanced herb that I was looking for. But anyway. Um, yeah, I'll grab that and then we can... Um, chill here and I guess we're gonna be doing the night back next turn or something. Okay, I think I low-key know what I want to do. I want to go for Halts of Alala. Grab a little bit of, of meat and then... I think I'm just going to be going for the uh, Cyclops. Ooh. Behemoth Crags are kind of intriguing. Oh, Cliff Nest. I really hope I can reach that. If not, I might even be staying here for the sake of it. That's a very small box. Wait, so to... No, I'm, I'm not able to reach that. I mean, while going back, but, um... I will be probably staying out here, then doing the box, and then... Crack. I would actually be able to keep back the crack, but, like, I would be coming out here anyway next turn, so what's the point of going back, even? Um, that's what I'm saying. I'm just going for loss of burb, and that's, like, my entire strat. Maybe I'm making the Behemoth build up as well, but I'm not really sure. I'm unconvinced. I'm not. I don't have it like nearly enough gold. And that is a problem. I need to start doing some bigger, better banks right now. I'm one mana away from the being to being in the stone. Kind of a shame. Can I upgrade at least one bird, please? Thank you. I can upgrade exactly one bird, actually. The next time I think I'm doing these stores, and then yeah, leading over to that direction. I need way more gold than I currently have. Jeez. I will have enough gold to upgrade all of these rocks, right? Yeah, so I'm gonna be able to do, do like the enhancer boss here pretty easily. And such. And I actually feel like this is a cliff nest, actually. I'm not sure why. No, this is clearly a cliff nest, isn't it? Yeah, I just now noticed. I wonder if I actually knew all along that this is a, this is a cliff nest. That's a kind of interesting. Yeah, that is kind of interesting. That's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Expert air. I would be able to double the D if I if I wasn't so a manless. My pawn's up to four knowledge by this point. And yeah, Cliff Nest, by the way. But there's another one up there too. I think that auto was kind of fine. Yeah. Um, it could end up being way, way worse. So I'm just gonna take the less bad option. Like, leveling up into one more knowledge would be such a great what would be such a big deal right now. 
Because then I can actually double the D. Anyway, I think I'm going to be staying out here and doing the Clipness, doing some of the other things. Um, I think I'm going to do like one mana short from DDing and dipping in the next turn. That's kind of a shame. I would like to do a library, but I can't. Not easily, at least. Yeah, I'm going to be not doing this. Just because. I... It doesn't give me any immediate value, and it might actually be quite a detriment. And now I'm able to... Yeah, because I didn't take that, I'm able to actually take this pressure and then still keep it back. <laughs> Which is pretty cool. So I have four of my cliffness, but I'm not building into any. And I mean any. Behemoth, which is sad. Hey, Fred Frost, I appreciate yourself. Thank you, thank you. Hey, Quayla. Mm -hmm. I could be moving forward here as well. That was definitely an option that I do have. I mean, if I go back, then what is my next turn even? Maybe like go for the watering hole, into the Nagbank, bank, and then into the library? Maybe. But like, I'm so missing that one knowledge. Yeah, that one knowledge is like such a big difference for me. Anyway, I really like the Nagabank and the library turn. So, yeah, I'm gonna be doing that. Exactly. Of course, with a triple build, our bird count is gonna be just amazing. That's all the free Valhalla's by this point. Yes, indeed. And yeah, we make fast, of course. Oh! <coughs> so, what is the pathing though? Do I double DD? No, I think I did it here. No, I think I walk here, did it here, and then maybe did it here. I don't know. Ah, uh, we'll see. 970, I would be there. So that would be 1470. Actually, yeah, pretty cool. Hey, Petrel. Yes, an Agabank is probably one of the best things I can get right now. So of course we get it. And yeah, I can also step into the Rainhaven if I want to. I mean, that would be an extra town, and it's mirroring the middle faction, so it's actually kind of good. It would cost me basically 5 wood and 5 ore. By the way, see, I have 7 knowledge by now, that's kind of cool. And yeah, we got a mage guild. Um, nice. Then I have this Nagamag to go for, I have my Utopia to go for. I have some gold, and I want some marketplaces. I already have, like, most of them. I do have the air, so I can see that he doesn't have this down. Actually, is this the rampy or this is or is this the rampy? I don't know which time he has right now. I have some knowledge he has four knowledge, so he's not even gonna be able to be around for the sake of collecting his army. I feel a little bit bad for him. I think that then this turn my goal is gonna be the Utopia. So yeah, kind of let's just get some Utopia done, you know? It's actually kind of that simple for me. I just get a bunch of birds and then I just hit the dragon very hard. That's all there is to it, I think. Mm hmm. It's a tier frame. Um, sure. By the way, I will delete this and make a few more of these. So then here, here, here. Um, yeah, it's all good. I will be able to shield for this fight, maybe. Yeah, do some of the things. That auto is actually not bad, but I'm pretty sure I should be able to do better. I knew that this would draw aggro, but I'm saving like so much meat by doing this, so... Probably a good idea. I'm not sure if it's a good idea. They're low, so yeah, just one shots. Okay. Save me to build minus three birds. Um, kind of painful. Okay. I have some more. Yeah, some more stuff. Hey, 
And then, yeah, I can just grab another box and, um, we're kind of good to go. My mic is really nice. Yeah, my game right now is uh, pretty good. I don't have a... Oh, wait, they do have a Mitchell here. Interesting. And I just massively fucked up. Yikes. Um... Damn, I misclicked fly. Well, now I'll have to, like, run into this sand and recover mana there. Well, actually, that's kind of good in a sense. Okay, I'm gulping already, but, um, hear me out, okay? It's a pretty good gulp. I came up with a pretty good gulp. Before you enter, it tells you whether it's gotta buy a pack, lots plus few, or lots plus several. Oh, somebody asked, uh, how do you know the difference? Um, yeah, so exactly as you said. When you hover, like, the bottom, you're gonna be seeing if it's gonna be pack or lots. If it's pack, you cannot tell whether it's tier 1 or tier 2. Um, but if it's gonna be bigger, then you can't actually tell. Oh my, I would have been so sad if I didn't reach the sand on this turn. I would have been just massively upset, actually. Okay, got a Gladius from a stulp. <laughs> Lamal Glady. Gladius stulp when for knowledge. XZ. <laughs> Um, amazing. He got the one thing he already had. I'm sorry, Tim. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, my turn is done. Um, nothing more than I can do. I believe the key is gonna be, like, next to a desert town. Uh, by the beginning of the next turn. Um, yeah, and that's okay. Oh uh, yeah, he's going to the this down for sure. I mean, he's trying. He hustling. I'm still looking for one Behemoth Crack and one Bird Dwelling too, by the way. That's something that's gonna be on my mind. I place pretty badly here, by the way. Ooh, knowledge. Very good level up. Oh, uh, what are those? Are those Archangels? No, what are those? Anyway, I'm gonna find out personally. Manticore's okay, that's way better than Archangels. Uh huh. Hmm. This one will be her, this one will be in the back. Um, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's a, that's a decent outcome. Pretty sure I one shot, but um, may as well one shot more, you know? Boom, boom. And boom. Uh, one bird loss is acceptable. Oh wow, these are some pretty good RTS. I mean, this package over here is like very, very beautiful looking. Mm -hmm. He has six knowledge. Oh my god, 31 attack and four defense. Okay, he, so he just grabbed the library basically. Um, that was most of it. So yeah, he's heading for the brick and he's doing it through the library. That is exactly what's happening. I maybe want a few more taverns. Just to be able to see his best unit. I want to know if he has a behemoth or not. I need to know. No, he does not have a behemoth. He does have more kingdom strength. He still has more kingdom strength. Wow, okay. Um, so he has like probably a lot of low tier army, I think, for now. Still. And probably a decent amount of bursts too. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, he actually went back. He didn't even, like, break there after all. Uh, but he does have, like, knowledge, finally. He picked up an Armor of Wonder or something. Funny, as Armor of Wonder literally came to the screen as I was mentioning it. Bruh. Okay, I know what I'm doing. That's nice. Do you know?
So I'm looking for another objective on this turn that I can do. There's nothing? I mean, I already, I already did quite a bit, so it's not that big of a deal, but... I would have liked something more. Oh, 49 burb. And so I'm pretty sad by now, too. I want my last marketplace by this point. Yes, here we are. And yeah, let's go. Now that I have an immense amount of knowledge, I'm going to be able to push middle easily. I mean, 15 knowledge is not really that immense, but... uh, I mean, for this game standard, this is, it is actually immense. I will say it. I lost 240 Divines on Gamble. Well, I'll play a gamble responsibly and a gamble that you can afford to lose. Oh my god, wait, he just did a Utopia and he got some mad stats, yo. And I could be like going down in the middle, that's very, very annoying to me. I bet he's going down in the middle. Well, then again, maybe when Kiton says that I'm there, he will cease. He will cease being so rude. Right? He would. Sees. Right? Quite a bit of XP. That is nice. But the fact that he's still on the bottom is pretty weird. I'm trying to keep my mana flow, because I'm not recovering mana by the end of this turn, you know? Clearly, naturally. Obviously. We fight. Um, yeah, next time I can grab the SOJ, I mean the Lime Shield, and then reach middle. Mm, pretty good stuff. Then I have the 1 to 1 ratio, which means that I... Yeah, when I get a bunch of uh, Thetadels, I'm going to be getting a bunch of Behemoth Crags, and yeah, that's going to be like very good for me. Um, did I see him? No, I didn't. Um, if he's if all the animal, we might have noticed him, but... Wait, what? He got this down and already so far? Or did he have this down before and I didn't notice? I don't know which one it is. What? Well, this time, these times are like amazingly close, so maybe. Then here, here, here. Yeah, okay, I think I... I think I'm able to get the shield here real quick. Or maybe the Utopia too. Wow. Mm, that'd be something. I should not try for this Utopia right now. I should just make sure to get the town. Yeah, that line of play could end very horribly, so... I'm gonna be enforcing my stay in the middle, of course. I don't think he can even reach me. Yeah, he can, he can. So I'm gonna be double building castle, I think. And then I might be double building, might be triple build. I don't know what I'm gonna be doing next turn, but um No, maybe I'm gonna buy a behemoth crack for now. Although here and that's like it for my turn. Mm-hmm. So here we are. <laughs> so we have two golden capas here by this point. Okay. Grim Gekko and Demida. You guys can check for your golden cap, okay? Just type Kappa in chat, and if it's golden, then you are the chosen one. You are the one to bring balance to the world. And, um, yeah. Your responsibilities are massive, but... You have been chosen because you can do it. Because you are believed and trusted. By your surroundings, your peers. 
the ones that matter. Oh, by the way, we actually get to collect all of the dwellings. Wow, all three of them were here. That's amazing. Yeah, that's actually beautiful. Mm-hmm. Okay. So yeah, we have two golden capas in chat. That's probably like a very high ratio of golden capas to viewer ratio. Um, that's how you know we are the hashtag blessed community. Uh, okay, so wait, uh, what are we doing? I'm cur I really want to build another bee crying right now. Um, can I do that? Mm, I would have to probably go into Arthur Merchants um, and sell Water Tome, Fire Tome, and something else. Uh, yeah, sure, let's do that, Lamo. I will sell, sell, and sell. Uh huh. And then I can build into another exactly one Behemoth Crack. So yeah, we are double building Behemoths with double with two dwellings. That's pretty good. Um, it's quite a bit of army actually that I ended up um, managing to uh, get extra here. Mm, yeah, beautiful. And there's a mage shield here, so we're fine. Gold Dragon Game in Min. I do not believe it's going to be a Gold Dragon Game. But there are quite a few Dragon Cliffs here, actually. It could be a decent one. You know? Um, is he flagging? Yeah, he actually did flag the dwelling here. Okay. So he has a very similar vision of the game to mine. About them. Yeah, we see the game in a very similar fashion. I feel like a connection building us. Building between us. Yes. Not a connection. I feel it. <laughs> 10 minutes, 10 easier. Yeah. You know what? You have 10 minutes of Young Kim, huh? You know? <laughs> Some main spoilers. Spoilers shall not be tolerated. I think we have to go back here. Um, though this fight is gonna be a little bit sun. Anyway, this is gonna be also a golden dragon box. Oh, I mean, it's a dragon box. I'm not sure what kind of dragons. Um, knowing our community is probably golden. Hm. Only five magician over there. Uh, not too exciting. Um, extra armor is exciting though. And then, yeah, we can be a little bit faster here by this point. Jesus. Uh huh. Uh, Beth Fairy and whoa. Uh huh, cool. Um, can you just take that the uh, desert site down? That's fine. I'm gonna be going for a top show myself. For this, the cultured thing to do. And for I am a cultured person. Mm hmm. Um, wait, I'm gonna be cooking this and yeah, then we go. Mm hmm. Um, uh, that is nice. Then, then what? That's good. Um, so yeah, Libraries and Topics is gonna be like the name of the game for me for now. But I'm, I need to see what my last level up will be and then I will be able to decide better on what I'm doing for the rest of this game based on that information. Am I going for an open car or whatnot? And uh, so on. I don't have any economy yet. Not good. And I don't have any timer, so I'm gonna be just passing the turn immediately. Nice! Mm-hmm. Did you get Wisdom plus Cyclops Caves, like yesterday? I do not believe that's gonna be in the... Well, actually... That would be a proper approach, now that I think about it. Hmm. My first instinct, very usually, is gonna be to deny something, uh, I feel like. Without, the, without thinking too much, but sometimes you guys actually are kinda correct, okay? Sometimes, once in a blue moon, literally once in a, in a millennia, which shop will be correct, and I need to be ready there to embrace your correctness. I'm probably gonna be the only person to ever trust you. People will call me mad for even considering that, but... Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Anyway, uh, Fire Magician is pretty good. Uh, for Sacrifice, for other things. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a Dungeon Town, very good. Lost a little bit of armor for no reason, but that's fine. Yeah, so there we go. This is my one, and then I now have a two setup. I'm now proud on over two setup. 
And I will be starting to build up my orc haven. And, uh, yeah, because I... This is gonna be, like, the best investment that I can make at this stage of the game, I think. Uh, yeah. Hey, Ender. Is there a teapot in the stone plane? No, there's no teapot in the stone plane. Oh, wow, that's an air tome. Hmm, could be wrong, but I think that's an air tome. Um, he's all the way over there, so I'm gonna be probably summoning for now. And then, yeah, air tome is naturally a very prime objective here for me. I will sell my tome. Well, am I selling the stone of Urban Magics? I'm not sure if I am. Um, yeah, maybe never mind. I need to get quite a bit of wood right now, actually. This is actually how much wood I need, by the way. 60. They build out some ogres. Ogre. Imagine. Um, anyway. I'm still not even triple building my behemoths. Interesting. Uh-huh. Is there a difference between a basic sack and expert? Um, yeah, you get, like, way more value for every single unit that you sack when you are having expert. Ah. Mmm, yeah, I'm not sure about that. There's quite a bit of a... Uh... That's a uh, quite topic to get into. It's not as one way as you might be led to believe. <laughs> Basic sack. Okay, anyway. <laughs> they will split, right? Yes? No. Oh, they in fact did not split. Such. The retail is not scary. Yeah, okay, it's fine. Mm hmm. I need to take more artists for. Just for selling, so I can actually keep on building up, I guess. I think I want the pack skill. I do not want to fight these. Unicorns are good. Fire Thumb is good. Another. Oh, uh, yeah, this, that was a very nice turn. But we need to go back to Wazar again, and then I need to keep selling things. But, like, I do not want to sell the thumb that I just got, but... Hmm... I need the... I need this ore, despite, like, not really having the resources. Um... Yeah, okay, well, let's go. And there we go. No, of course not, our Dragon. Um, but yeah, I just, I just kind of prefer this one. I did play like Jeebus Cross for like years, and now I'm playing this for years. Um, yeah, when I get into a format, I guess I just really like to get pretty deep into it. Um, so that's what I do. <laughs> it's not better for the cat. Um, it might seem like that, that surface, um... Um, you know, just thinking at the surface. But if we do a little bit of research... <laughs> I'm gonna be able to go for both of these, I guess. And then, yeah, I'm just flagging all the cyclescape that I possibly can. I'm 15 moons away from being able to do TP away from after this one, but... I'll then be able to, and that's kind of okay. Um, yeah, let's do it. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, I don't. I'm not even triple building the behemoths yet. Um. Okay, wait. I need to triple build the castles for now, and then, uh, yeah. For now, this will do. I kind of freaking out. Uh, at your cat, Lamal. <laughs> oh no. It's uh, yes, it's uh, snowballing. Then... I could do this one, but then I'm probably staying outside again. I could like double DD. Yeah, wait, that works, that works. And that's better. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna be able to DD back. Nice. 
So three dwellings uh, during this turn, and I didn't even have full moves, that's amazing. Then I still need to do one thing, and that's gonna be to... Um, yeah, get the last of my behemoth crags. Um, that is gonna be a lot of stronghold army for the long term. Um, yeah, that's amazing. Then, of course, I'm gonna be going for, like, an elixir setup, uh, Ogrefer setup, I'm gonna be grabbing, like, Rainbow Mindsets, and all that would be, like, amazing for me, I think. Dragon investment is bad. Um, yeah, dragon investments are pretty bad, usually. Because they, well, no, they can be good, but, uh, they are a timing. And I believe that if my opponent's going for one, then he's already missing the timing, so it's kind of useless for him. I'm looking for library and Orithopia, please. Please. Nothing. Really nothing? Like, nothing, nothing. Uh, wait, actually, I need that ring. Okay, I can't even need the ring. That's kind of sad. Mm, fine, I'll just take the tome just for selling. Um, that's okay. I actually... Wait, no, I need a stone. Yeah, I need a stone. Because I sold them really two fire tomes. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's kind of fine. I took, like, a few characters for selling, and that is it for this turn. Then I'm gonna be... Um, yeah, getting some tunnels, actually. Mm-hmm. Then I will possibly... No, actually, this is fine for now. I'm looking for more Arceus so I can sell more, of course. Um, yeah, I like for the good orbs, for the good casting options for now. Uh, but I don't have many Utopias at all. Actually, there's another one over there that I could get. Oh wait, you actually got the side zone already, Jesus. Um, playing up against two side zones is not exactly the situation that I saw myself coming into, but it's a situation that I found myself in right now. Um, fine. that I lose. Anyway, it doesn't matter because I can't really change much about that. Mm, that is fine. That's sad. I'm um, just a straight up misplay for me. It is what it is. I kind of like the copium. Well, no, actually, I don't really need a copium. I'm going to be just needing a little bit of resource. Anyway, your topic per turn is going to be like pretty good for me. And then I probably want to build up the middle here a little bit. Man, having zero resources feels kind of bad, not gonna lie. Mm hmm. Oh, my opponent has more gold than I do. Yeah, because he's just collecting like all the sides on Utopias. Um, just, you know, on a pretty short notice. What about the uh, Elixir and Ogrefest? Um, Ogrefest Helmet, Quab. Uh... Yeah, so Helmet and Quab and Permanence are actually all takeable in a single turn. That is pretty good. Um, yeah, he's just chilling over there. Did I see him? No, I didn't. Um, okay, then I'm gonna go over here. And, yeah, take a peek here. Dude, no Utopia, no library. Okay, well, Utopia, nice. This is minus Utopia for him and plus for me, so this is basically a two Utopia swing, but just coming here, and I do it again! I hate it, I hate it. I mean, it's just my fault, but, um, yeah, my Cyclops. Mm, yeah, kind of such. Um, then I'm gonna be going back into here. I'm gonna be getting a little bit of wood, a little bit of ore, and quite a bit of crystal. Um, yeah, that is gonna be a thing that I do do. Do do do. And yeah, I think that's gonna be good enough for me for like most of the game at this point. And then I will also be building up uh, this investment a little bit. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, and also I most definitely want to be. Got myself the upgrades for the creatures too. Mm hmm. All is good. Anyway, I need to like just not have these dragons come off my entire army every single time. Something that needs to not happen. Wait, where is he? Uh, where? Oh, here. Okay, I see him. Oh, fine, 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 fine. Vile is good. Library is amazing. Okay, actually, it's zero desert libraries, by the way. 
Um, Zelma's fine, though, not very long term. Uh, do I want to stay here? I would get the elixir and then I would get something more there. Uh, not much, actually. Nah, nah, nah. Mm hmm. Mm, there we go. Hopefully, more marketplaces is also kind of a thing. Uh. I think I'm just getting like another week's worth of army, collecting all the RTs and then pushing for him already. Um, hopefully before he's ready. <laughs> I wonder if he's maybe making a Nyx investment. Ah, probably not. And Kate will be weird, I guess. Aren't you? <laughs> Boom. I stay here just for the Serena? Not really. Anyway, I got all the three last pieces for the Olgrifus on a single turn. That's amazing. Oh, uh, very, very beautiful. He got the bunker over there right now. Um, that's fine. I have like creature upgrades for all the creatures that I care about. Not actually. I might be collecting some of those too. Yeah, it's gonna be a nice thing to do. Uh, I got Permit Orb. No, but I'm, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be playing around water. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm playing around water. Um, okay, he's chilling back on um, the school. Okay, this fight needs a little bit of prep. Like, the Utopia fight needs a tiny bit of prep, and the prep is... Okay, um, that's a fine turn. Then keep on building this down. There's stop. I'll also be probably picking up more boxes in my biome. Um, he's sitting over in the north down, but he's clearly not reaching, so yeah, I'm okay with that. Wait, I didn't consider what I would do if he's not pushing. Lamo. Um, anyway. I'm still gonna be doing the same thing anyway. Almost. I want the string alive at this point. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of ready. So I'm going to be just rallying up all my enti the entirety of my army next time because I'm going to be expecting to find him that week. He's also getting like a lot of defense by now to him. And by the way, um, this box, this box, and like the these boxes, I feel like all of them will be relevant to me. I feel like I'm like, oh no, I should actually build out all the upgrades. I'm gonna be having some stacks of army, and all of them is gonna be strong with army. Nice bass line. And yeah, many people are like you, that are gonna be like starting out, you know, they're gonna be like a little bit, uh... They might, uh, they might have some ladder anxiety, you know, like, uh, and so on. But, uh, yeah, hopefully you get there. Yeah, it's quite a bit of fun, would recommend. Oh, uh, wait, where is he? Um, uh, because over there, that's fine. Mm, I'm gonna be taking these, yeah. Then... Boom, boom, boom. Hubble or Chieftain. Oh wait, I was wrong. Um, okay, whatever. Um, Jesus. Um, that's quite a bit of army. Um, <laughs> what do you? Uh, I think I just have to do this. 
Wait, but no, that's too early. It's too soon. Wait, so how can I make myself the least slow possible? I guess this. Mm -hmm. Then I go here, do the same, and wow, there's gonna be an army. Then... Yeah, there are some more bosses here too, there's gonna be... I mean, these are basically like, rock boxes, which are amazing, of course. Ah, <laughs> uh, so wait, I need to get like, all non of good army right now. Um, it's gonna be... This? Basically, wait, is this not all non of good army? Yeah, okay, it is. Then I will go over here, I will get... And get. Um, then we can go back to Crag and upgrade most of these, I guess. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't upgrade the Ogre Fort yet. And I don't have enough gold for this one either. So... Okay, I think I'm just gonna go over to Blind Root. By the way, I'm not getting attacked yet. Yeah, not yet. Oof. I don't really want to lose any army. Still quite a bit left to get to. I mean, yeah, there seems way more gold right now. Oh, uh, yeah, we're going back to Bazaar, and we are going back to... Actually, we're going to be selling all of these uh, big-time RTs. Probably a little bit more, yeah. Oh, watering place maybe. Um, okay, so I have to get ready in this turn already. Um, that's fine, I can do that. I think I left some army over here. I think I left some army over here. Then, uh, yeah, we can go back. Upgrade the behemoth 100%. Um, upgrade... Uh, the ogres. Then buy the behemoths. And yeah, that's all my gold already. Jesus, that's expensive. Uh-huh. Fine, the best thing that I can do right now is going to be exactly this. Aha, uh -huh. then I will go back. Oh, wow. Hmm, 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 yeah, bye. Yeah, just bye. Take bye, okay? Take bye. Uh, this is going to be my one, and then... This is my... Yeah. And then this too. And yeah, that's my setup. Okay, yeah, it's actually a better side than I do. I think this is uh, this is his Ogifer stats as well. So that's pretty impressive. Wait! Oh, where's my... Okay, that is... Woo! Um, yeah, I needed that. I wouldn't have proc my Ogifer otherwise. Um, that would have been awful. Very, very awful. So fire orb already, that's very cool. Oh, he did take it, huh? Such. I'm just gonna deny this box, I know that I don't want them. Okay, so he's just chilling there. I'm so poor though, oh no. Um, okay, so what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? So wait, he's coming. Yeah, he's just coming. Uh, what is this army like? Hmm, like this. Okay, Phoenix, by the way. So he does have speed trial. A little bit more of these. Um, okay, so let's just... Yeah, maybe rational plays. Let's make sure to not take a fight. Wait, no, I almost went for the Medusa stores, Jesus.
I think the low tier army is best cost efficiency. So here we go. Um, he has more behemoths than I do. He has more birds than I do, but he doesn't have like the rest of the stuff that I have. Uh, 37, 37. Yeah, okay. Oh, actually, I should have bought, bought the tavern too. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, this army is like very cool. You know, 450 gobbles. Oh my god, I have 450 gobbles. Jesus, on Elixir too. They're gonna be like a force to be reckoned with. It would just be like a full on sacrifice stack, you know? I could just get like everything back with a single sacrifice. That's very cool. Yeah, it's very, very cool. Mm hmm. But if he has water, I'm kind of dead. But. Takes the library, goes on the road, and I guess he cannot reach me. Or maybe he can. We'll see. Can't decide if he took another library. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm doing if I have another turn. I guess, like, here, after all. Mm hmm. Wait, but, like, what if he doesn't attack me? Well, that would be very, very annoying to me. Because, you know, he'd probably be, like, going on the road, like, into the arena and another library. Jesus. Okay, he attacked. Um, he's plus three, minus one. I'm plus three, plus one. Okay, that's cool. I'm in an advantage here in that kind of way. If we're just tossing spells to each other, I'm kind of winning. I like more meat as well. No, but I'm Berserkable though. Hmm, the Berserkable part is a problem. Tiny bit of a problem. A little over both Orgophus, but um... Wait, our stats are so similar by the way. Jesus, wait, we're almost neck and neck. He has no Phoenix. Yeah, he deleted it. He doesn't need it anymore. Um, it's actually a smart thing to do, I think. He does have the speed trial. I'll be get, getting rid of the one stacks. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, I think that yeah, this is a pretty good setup. Wait, and then this is a pretty good setup too. Then there's like it's not overcommitted either side. Actually, I kind of want the wolf used to be Loki going out. Mm hmm. Do I actually want my behemoth outside? I think Berserk will actually make a difference. Yeah, probably. Berserk this would be kind of meant actually for his sign. What if he moves? Maybe? Hmm. Okay. Bruh. Ah. Uh... Well then, uh, I... Come on! Come on! Are you kidding me? Are you joking? Ah, uh, it's water, man. It's water, man. I'm so accused of me to berserk. Bravo. Of course, you will have some sacrifices. Well, probably. I mean, but like, it's kind of over, not gonna lie. Well, actually, if I kill all his ABs, then what does he have remaining? You know? And we're all here to get rid of the hobbles, would have been massive, though. You got rid of quote. Oh my god, yeah, he killed all the hobbles of mine. But imagine if there was fire up there, though. Like, boom, suddenly, like, minus 50 birds, but no. And yeah, these guys are back. Yeah, okay, fine. FINE! Oh my god! I- Like, what a repair- I- I don't regret not preparing for it. I mean, it's such a rare thing. But, like, why? Why is that ever a thing? Dude, why is that ever, ever a thing? What a way to go. Not even, can't even have a proper battle. 
But yeah, I had like the Cyclops investment, but I didn't have like enough top on. I actually like ran out of gold there just to buy out my buy army without building anything more. But, like, how does this fight feel without the dispel, you know? I guess probably the most reasonable cast would then be shield or something. Anyway, I guess it doesn't matter anymore. Oh, actually, I would have cast a shield too, but yeah, then yeah, it would have been a fight. A very close, interesting fight, but the Water Magician, man! Like, what? No way. No way, that's a thing. Scouting, earth, log of air, armor, water. Even armor, too. What a skill tree, but no logger. But no logger. They didn't need it, I guess. Mm, pretty good, well, I mean, pretty good buy in the, in the form of cliffness and school. Uh, the bunker was okay. Wait, how did he have, like, so little knowledge? You should have had four from a pretty early state. Wait, oh, he has, lo oh, wait, no, logger. Wait, so he has everything. Wait, what did I have extra over him? I guess I had tactics and fire magician. Instead of the water, yeah. Well, that's annoying. That's very annoying. Uh, yeah. What a... What a sad way to go. Why did he delete those phoenixes? Oh, because they don't do anything. I mean, he had them initially so I wouldn't be able to attack him and proc my Ogrefist first and then connect all my army before he procs his, his Ogrefist, okay? Um, then after the threat was already not there anymore because we engaged in battle in a siege battle, his Ogrefist was always going to be get, getting procs so he didn't need the phoenix anymore. Um, why do you never take water with strong gold? I mean, come on! What is that witch on? Straight on the road? Straight water magics? Bruh. Uh, I'll be a beat man. Water clears fire and summons bolts. How did he, how did he get them without Diplo? Um, he built them in the Comfort Down, I suppose. Anyway, BRB.